Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is known as the <laughs> self-love ambassador. He's got a huge following on Instagram and gave us some great relationship advice the last time he was here. Mm -hmm. Now, if you follow him, you know that he touches on almost every subject from relationships to finances and even self-preservation. Today, mm -hmm. we are talking about why some men may realize you are the one, but they don't come to their senses until it's too late. Mm -hmm. Never too late. <laughs> yes, too late. please welcome back Derek Jackson. Yay. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. See, you looking, you lost about a smooth 10 since you got I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? 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 Because y'all like the Can't gym membership show. Okay. Right. I love it. I love it. All right. Here's the scenario. Okay. Okay. We know often that uh, men and women go back and forth mm. with the man that they love in hopes that, you know, he will appreciate us, get together, mm -hmm. and they still dishonor you. Okay. Mm. Months later, after she's moved on, then they may come back and, and she's no longer interested. Mm -hmm. Ooh. What is going on? Is this growing pain, so to speak? Or should we be like, you had it too bad? You know, you can't even, <laughs> you can't even call it a growing pain because sometimes there's no actual growth. But I think Ooh. from the woman's standpoint, you just got to decide how much pain are you willing to tolerate? Like, is the net positive or is it net negative? Uh. That's the only thing that should matter because whenever you start considering whether or not it's a growing pain or something like that, you start pain. blurring the line of actually enabling this man mm -hmm. to do you wrong over and over again. Ooh, can you give us an example of that? Give us a scenario of what that looks like. I think when a woman comes into a guy and he's like, well, I never knew love. I never saw love before. I, my parents weren't in love and I never mm. saw a marriage before. Then she says, well, you know what? He just got like a learning curve or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> he got but a it, love disability. Yeah, but it's a lot of things we haven't seen. <laughs> That's good. You should write a song. But it's a lot of things we haven't seen, and at the end of the day, you don't need to get into any kind of commitment, any kind of situation, mm -hmm. if you're not ready for it. If you know that you haven't seen it, you knew that before you met that woman. Mm -hmm. There was no point in going forward in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So that's an example. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was going to go off script, but I'm just going to stick to the questions on the call. Now go off script. Now, why does it have to be pain? I don't understand. Why, why is it a situation where it's like women have to go through so much with a man, and then he's like, well, you know, I might as well be with her because she done been through everything with me. She been mm. down for me. Why do we have to experience pain? That's a why good point. Why can it just not be love? Well, first off, That's a good point. Never let yourself become the might as well woman. Mm. <laughs> like if, you, if you're not that man's relationship mm. goals, then you need to keep it moving. Yes. So there is no like have to go through this and have to go through that. Mm -hmm. Once he presents you with something that you like, like you can tell he's not ready for what you bring to the table. Mm -hmm. You need to tell him to excuse himself. Mm -hmm. Okay, or you just but excuse yourself. Or excuse yourself, okay, but it's but your table. Now, <laughs> What's up? Okay, now you had said that. You have to determine your pain factor. Like you have to, you have to kind of. Um, you said weigh it out. Like weigh it out. Weigh so it that out. means yeah. that there is in fact pain. If I'm there weighing can, it out, then there is in fact pain. There can be so, some challenges. Yeah. So in a situation, what if the situation is they're together? He wasn't always like that, but mm -hmm. in, you know, through time, she just has been able, she has endured a lot. Mm -hmm. So Then it's the turnaround, well, I might as well marry her because yeah, I've, I've of heard that so, much. so she didn't really that. come into it being Man, the she might got as well She got my kids. Right. But then she turns around and goes, she cooked for I'm me. I'm the might as well. I'm the might as well. I think you got to look at it and well. say, you know what? When pain becomes damaged, then we've gone too far. Yeah. Okay. Because there's going to be some discomfort, there's going to be some challenges in yes. getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. That's normal. normal. But when it comes to a point where you're not the same person that you were whenever you came into the relationship and not in a good way, then you need to leave that relationship ah. because it's toxic mm -hmm. and it See, doesn't See, that's key it. because some women might feel like that they, you know, staying and sticking, you know, waiting for him to, you know, marry them, right. but they don't know that it could be hurting them and they don't know the difference between sticking it out because mm -hmm. some marriages you do need to stick it out mm -hmm. or this isn't good for me. And well, I think that's a big thing. We right. don't know the difference. Well, marriage as a relationship title, as a label, that shouldn't be anybody's goal. Mm -hmm. A healthy relationship that mm -hmm. facilitates the best in you should mm -hmm. be your goal. Right. So if you're right. ever getting yes. away from that, you need to get away from that man. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like wow. That. Yeah. Um, I know quite, this was one of your questions, but I want to bring it back up. Uh -huh. when, when Lizzo said we got like a smooth 40, uh, when Lizzo <laughs> said, why are men great till they gotta be great? Mm -hmm. Wow, that was a real poignant That's real. lyric. That's real. Okay, so what that. exactly uh, does it mean, or three reasons a man waits until it's too late? Can you give us, we don't have time for that, but we're gonna tease the people for, that are staying for <laughs> the full good. hour yeah, when good. they come back. Okay. And, when, and it's gonna be beautiful. But we thank you for the people who are just uh, are about to leave right now uh, for Amazing Gems.
Leaks, make sure you continue to follow Derek. And remember, the conversation always continues on Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Right. Because well, that's, that's always. That's right. <laughs> well, for the full hour, people, I'm about to get these three reasons for you, okay? It's yeah. going to be real good. Derek Jackson, yeah, tell the people your Instagram real quick. At Derek, J-A-X-N on Instagram and everywhere you can find me. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 That's all right. Um, Thank God for social media. Absolutely. <laughs> Welcome back to our amazing show. It's called Sister Circle Live. And now we're talking about why some men may realize you are the one, but they don't come to their senses until it's too late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about that. <laughs> okay. why, why do men wait? I mean, they almost wait to, especially get married, till they're like in a wheelchair, they on a breathing <laughs> machine. You know what I'm Your saying? Chicken legs, the hairline I'm, all the way back, pot belly. I'm, 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 why? And you think somebody wants you? Nobody wants. And then you got to deal with the health issues and all of that. Ain't nobody signing up for health issues. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you this. First off and foremost, <laughs> society has always coddled us as males. Mm. Like we've always been given a pass to learn things too late. Like growing yeah, up, I don't know, y'all probably have heard it too. Like, oh, girls mature faster than boys. Yes. No, girls have just been held to a higher standard of maturity than boys. Mm -hmm. But yes. boys will be boys and then, you know, we become a man and say, well, you know what, I'm just a man. It's just yeah, who no. I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, a lot of times a guy doesn't think he'll ever meet that girl that's going to require him to be prepared before he comes into a relationship wow. with her until he does. Uh -huh. So then he tries to learn on the job, but then he ends up losing the job. And then afterwards, it's like, man, hindsight is 20-20. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, I got to mention this. Sometimes he doesn't actually learn anything. So all of that begging, all of that R&B song singing, all of the doves releasing, all of that is just saying, I didn't think you would smarten up, and now I still want you back. Like, I want wow. access to you. But mm -hmm. he hasn't actually changed who he is. Right. Oh, yeah. uh, that's my God man. today. Yeah. See, I have, a, I have a real a real girlfriend, okay? Mm -hmm. And she's dating this guy. They've been dating for, for, for a cute amount of time. Okay. But there is this woman. They've never done anything, but she is a point of contention in their relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, is it up to the woman or up to the man to checkmate the situation? Oh, I think you already true. know the common denominator is that man. Like, if he's not protecting the relationship, how is she supposed to feel protected mm -hmm. in that relationship? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I can't stand whenever we see this, but... We've always made the man's actions almost like some kind of responsibility of the woman that he's with. Mm -hmm. But you can't take on that burden because mm -hmm. we've grown. We got full control over our actions. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to that, if he's not going to do what he needs to do, then she needs to understand what she got to do, which is mm -hmm. get out. See, I Ooh. love the way you talk. I like it. I, I love it. It's just real, man. On I yeah. It's yeah. the suit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Okay, so what if... Okay, give me this scenario. Dear. Okay. Okay, now... There are men mm -hmm. that are slow on the maturity, and and a lot of times it's not because they're 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 just not trying. Sometimes okay. they've grown up in situations where they haven't had an example. True, you mm -hmm. know, just like when we say sometimes a man is struggling being a father because he didn't have mm -hmm. one, and right. and that is that is facts. Right. You know what I'm saying? Same thing for a woman as well. You right, know? right, right. So at what point is it just pointless? Like he's just not gonna get the picture, or when is it good for a woman to say, well, you know what? I'm going to try with him because mm. I see potential. I see potential wow. in him. Wow. Or not even potential, She's but I see him trying. Hurt, because potential is nothing but a person that ain't doing nothing right now. Right. Uh, a man trying and actually moving to, a better him, to better himself. Right. How do we know when to stay with that man or if that's not what that is? Mm. I think we need to know the difference between was hopeless and was pointless. Right. Mm -hmm. It's like, what price are you willing to pay based on in what place. you bring to it? No, like you can hope all you want to. Mm -hmm. Like, tis the season, mm -hmm. hope, 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 do your okay. thing. <laughs> um, but Christmas. there may not be a point if you right now currently bring so much to the table and you're not getting reciprocity because you're not going to feel fulfilled in that relationship. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be happy and that's going to spill over. So there's really no point in staying in that relationship even though you have hope. You need to keep him, keep him at a safe distance, an appropriate distance like friendship or something like that mm. until he comes along. But don't mm. stay there. That, that, that staying there, that yeah, presence like, is comfortable. But what are you married? If you if you're already married, yeah. and then he slows down, like no, he starts like, progressing into marriage? There, no, because <laughs> here's the thing. Let's say you're married. And you marry, everything's great, but nobody has 100% of themselves even coming into a marriage. Right. I'm just being honest. Right. But there's something that is taking longer for him to progress at. Mm -hmm. But he's still, all the other stuff outweighs it. it. You what, know is, what, I'm saying? What, what is it costing you? Because 
it's no one size fits all. So what are we talking about? Mm -hmm. Is he trying? Is he on a learning curve of not putting his hands on you? Is no. he on a learning curve of no, not cheating? No, something that is something that or is just communication him. or something Maybe like that. Maybe it's communication, ambition, ambition. If it's, if it's, some, if it's something that's things. not costing you yourself, then I say, you know what? Hang out, wait it out. You've committed at the highest level. Yeah. Do your thing. But if you see it's not getting any better. Then you got to say, you know what, these vows aren't being honored. Mm -hmm. And again, marriage shouldn't be your goal. A healthy relationship, a progressive yeah, relationship exactly. should be your goal. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Mm -hmm. What about those acrimony situations where you spent all this time, you've invested ah! all this into this man, and you helped him on his glow mm -hmm. up, and then right. next thing you know, mm -hmm. he breaks off you and mm -hmm. then goes to this other woman, mm -hmm. and he all, everything is everything. What do you do, huh? Do you shoot him? <laughs> 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 I know the answer well, I definitely wouldn't say that, but right. I would say it's, it's going to be a lot of things that exist that you're not going to like. It just is. This, this is life. Mm -hmm. But it's about what you focus on. Mm -hmm. When I see this happen to women, I see the ones who get hurt, the ones that's most detrimental to are the ones who are sitting there staring at. It's almost like the sun. Like, you know the sun exists, right? So you see the sun, you know it's there. But if you focus on it, if you stare at it, that's when it starts causing blind. you harm. Mm -hmm. But if you just know that it's there and you take it for the good that it has, like that, whatever that experience taught you, and you keep it moving, then it makes you better. It doesn't hurt you. Those who sit there and wallow in their sorrow and their pain, then they come across that blessing that's supposed to be there happily ever after, but they can't enjoy because they're still focusing on the sun. Mm. They're focusing on that hot situation that burned them once. Mm. 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 Well, maybe it gave you a tan. Let it burn. Okay, exactly. It That's what I'm talking you about. Oh. I should have said, let it burn. Huh? <laughs> burn it all. I want to say this. We as women, I mean, we're naturally nurturing. We really are. But we don't want to be a man's training wheels. Mm -hmm. We do not. Yes, so what exactly. do we do to make sure we're not being a, uh, his training with or his crutch. What are we doing? First do off, we... you got to set boundaries. Mm -hmm. And you can't be compromising on those boundaries because if you compromise, he's definitely going to compromise. Mm -hmm. And I think even from past situations and past relationships, because like I said, uh, sometimes it gets connected. I think women have to understand the second part to healing, which is detachment. So even after you get to feeling good and you say, you know what, I'm ready to date again, you got to be able to detach that, that past situation from what could come in the future. Yeah. Otherwise, that's going to set the standard, that's going to be the basis, and you're going to say, you know what, I'm willing to tolerate more of this effed up treatment because I once did, and that's just who I am. Derek, I've got a question. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why come? Why, Why come? Why fall come? Why fall come? Oh, she feeling this one. <laughs> Y'all just don't be like, you know what, I'm going to act right so that she doesn't have to do all these circus acts right. mm -hmm. to get me to act right. Because how come I just, how come a man just can't come into a situation and say, I'm going to do what I'm supposed right. to do? Yeah. Just what, what, act right juice. What's up with these men that say, oh, you know what, man, she a good woman. One I'm telling you, I know she's a good oh. woman. One at a time. I know, I know, bro. <laughs> hit her and hit me. Hit her and then come over here with me. I'm just saying. I haven't heard that right. a thousand it's times how good I am. I'm doing what you're supposed to do in a relationship with those intentions. It's about being right. And that takes time. That ah, takes self-awareness. That's a good point. That you takes a certain yourself, level of grooming and raising. Right. But I think the number one thing that could fix all of this is self-awareness on the part of the man. Like, I don't mm -hmm. want to make this all about what the woman is doing wrong and not protecting herself and not being a good they enough investigator. Aware, it's about us preparing ourselves and saying, you know, if I'm not prepared for this relationship, I don't need to get into it. Right. Oh, so well, that's what we need to put. That's what I was asking. Being truthful to yourself. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Tell mm -hmm. the truth. Speaking of preparing yourself, you have a crown recovery class. Right. Now, who is this master class for? Who should be taking this This class? is for women who have wasted their time and invested in, into somebody and it left them hurt and not quite feeling like themselves. Mm. Like that crown that those standards, that self-esteem, that's what I'm trying to help people recover. There is a process. There's, right. there's a process that I've helped people go through and then they've come back better than ever. So it's at crownrecoveryclass.com. It's an absolutely Crown free class, class, about an hour com. long oh, dialogue that's that's I'm going in, giving the strategies and the tips to recovering your crown. Hey, me and should join the crown, Right, that too. Does your wife join you when you go? Nah, man, she sits it out, man. Okay, I'm just asking. Be sure to register for Join Derek. them, girl. Right. Join them, girl. Yes. Yes. With them, girl. That's right. CrownRecoveryClass.com. He yep. said it's absolutely free. Derek yep. Jaskin, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.